Hello, this is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. I hope you're having an excellent day. Today I'll be reviewing the Living Light 23RKS, a new model by Living Light. It's a very sweet little travel trailer. I like the fact that it has a sofa and a U dinette. Here is its uh, familial uh, member, uh, the 23RLS. It has a sofa in the back and also the U dinette. Here are some of the specs for the 23RKS. It weighs under uh, 5,000 pounds at only 4,108. So it will be comfortably towed by my uh, Chevy Colorado pickup truck. It has smallish uh, fresh water, black water, and gray tanks though. Here I am going inside. I'm opening up the refrigerator just like everybody does all these YouTube videos. I gotta take a peek and see if there's any beer left. They drank it all. They drank it all, didn't leave me one. So here I'm closing it and it uh, has a storage above and uh, it's very nice storage. Has some great fans in this unit. Some of these other uh, travel trailers have these uh, cheap little puny little uh, propellers on the units, but this has a serious uh, fan. The cooktops are uh, very basic rudimentary in fact suburban very basic it's not a three burner it's not the latest uh, furion product i saw a furion cooktop that i just saw recently in a, another trail trail that cost significantly less than this one and it was a lot nicer and since uh this uh travel trailer uses a lot of furion products why not get the latest stovetop and cooktop and all that sort of good stuff from furion there's one of those acrylic windows, and those come as a package. They just cut a hole in the wall there and just stick one of those packages in, and it works out perfectly. Again, this is very nice solid surface countertops and stainless steel sinks. I love it. Plenty of storage here. And, of course, a convection microwave oven. Since you don't have a stove, you need one of those. Plenty of cabinets. Uh, they're not uh, dovetail or anything fancy. This couple staples or a couple nails actually there, here and there, just to hold them together. The construction of this uh, travel trailer, they use Asdal. They use a lot of aluminum, so it's very high quality, but their cabinets are definitely uh, on the low end. Plenty of storage back there. A bit of a mess under here. Very nice up here, plenty of room. Here's the U dinette. Uh, it's a smallish U dinette. Uh, it's good for the kids, good for petite individuals. I'm 5'10, 175 pounds. I can fit in there, but barely. Plenty of storage under the U dinette. More storage here, and it goes all the way back and to the rear. fabric is not very good. It feels uh, cheap. This tabletop is pretty basic too. It's not up to the standards of the, uh, the solid surface countertops in the other unit. does not have a sconce or light up top and uh, that's not good. I, if I'm going to read a magazine or work on a project, pay my bills, I need some light. Again, I'm only 5'10 plus all that hair and uh, nothing to illuminate my work area my dining area. Here I am taking a little nap because, you know, I've been working hard. Here's the jackknife sofa. They throw in a couple pillows here and a couple pillows there. Works out very nicely. Let me move those uh, pillows, and with one hand, with my little thin arms, I can do this for myself. So if I can do it, anybody can do it, because I do no weight lifting other than mowing the lawn. Again, that material was pretty cheap. Uh, definitely not up to high-end standards, but, you know, for, for the price point, you can't complain. Here's a view from the... Uh, front towards the bed. There's 
that TV, I do like watching TV. Uh, I don't like to miss my football games, my NFL games. Yeah, that's a nice little TV, plenty of connections above. Connect your antenna, your power, etc., etc. And there's a has a power jack there, so it can amplify the. And there's the texture of that uh, plastic film they throw over the wood like material and uh, that's what you get all through this uh, travel trailer. Here's a shot of the uh, slide area. The AC unit and uh, the cabinets over the sofa. Again they're all sticker wrapped. Some other manufacturers use solid wood doors. Living light. Mm -mm -mm, they're not. There I am relaxing again, uh, contemplating my future in, uh, on YouTube, going, why am I wasting my time? But I'm doing it because of you, because you ask me to. You say, hey, shoot this video, and I will. There's that uh, jackknife sofa. Um, these are those dual pane Euro windows. Very nice. Again, they just cut a hole. Uh, those windows come as a package. You just stick them in there. They, yeah, it's pretty straightforward, so it's a very solidly built Euro style windows. Double insulated. Have a nice little screen also. Keep those nasty bugs out. I couldn't open the, this door from this side and show it on my video, so I had to go around the other side. This area between the bathroom and the storage area is pretty tight. So if you're a big guy, a big muscular dude or a woman, it's going to be tough. This might not be the unit for you because it is a tight squeeze. And don't forget, I'm not exactly, uh, you know, it's a big dude. It's a tiny dude. There's some storage above and storage, plenty of storage. You can stack up a bunch of stuff in there. And, the bath, and there's the uh, heater controls on the other side of the uh, bathroom. And... Uh, and there's the bathroom. I'm on the other side. I open it from the other side. And I'm going to see how tight that is. That door is only like 30 inches. And then you squeeze it and you go on the other side. And it, guess what it does? It bangs. <laughs> they should put a door stop or something there like Winnebago does. They, they don't do that. I guess they didn't think this all out. But the interior, another great fan. I love those fans. Again, uh, the interiors are beautifully designed. I love this toilet, A plus toilet. You can live with this toilet for a, you know, a good dozen years and never have any issues with it. Nice shower surround. And don't forget, most of the construction in this thing is waterproof and water is you know resistant. It's not like those that are travel trailers made out of Luon, the nasty word Luon, which absorbs moisture like a like a, you know like a, a sponge. And as you close this. In the bedroom, there's a little sink, and here's uh, just outside the bathroom are some of the switches. You can read this. You can pause this video at any time and look at it. There's the slide out and the awning and your tanks, etc., your battery levels. And there's a view of the AC. And I'm going to pan down and look at the kitchen and the dinette and the sofa to the left. Very, very nice. The unit has uh, uh, aluminum steps in two locations, so that's the way to do it. It's uh, very light and won't have any issues with rust in the future. Hopefully, no issues. There's those acrylic windows, one on each side, so you can have that um, cross breeze, especially if it's a beautiful day, 75, 80 degrees outside. You can have that beautiful cross breeze and smell those pine trees. Some plugs on the side and some switches. And this is where you can put your shirts, your jackets, and stuff like that. One on each side, and this beautiful storage up top, which goes all the way across. I bet you can use that space, huh? Nice little uh, Naga hide plastic -y, uh, headrest. And again, I love the interior design. Uh, you know, I'm an artist uh, by trade, and photographer by trade, actually. And uh, I do like aesthetics. Aesthetics are very important to me. And, of course, my wife. Plenty of storage down there. I do not like the look of things that are overtly country. Or I like things that are simple. Uh, you know, just 
elegant. There's that little sink in the uh, bedroom, uh, just outside the ba uh, uh, bathroom. Yeah, it's very nice. This does not open up, but it's a nice size mirror. Very nice. Uh, there's a connection for the TV. There's, say a spot where you can hammer in the uh, uh, the TV and uh, connect it. But uh, apparently, you know, you're gonna have to take a guess or look at the manual. There's a view from the front with the uh, power tongue jack and the two 20 pounders right there of uh, LP that you can carry with you. There's plenty of room for two batteries. Get some nice ones. Uh, get some uh, solid batteries that you can use for an extensive period of time. And there's a stabilizer jacks and you got some magnetic door holders there. This seemed very basic. And what Look at all that space. You can put your, they should put that spare somewhere else. Maybe it goes in the back. Maybe it goes on the front. I don't know where it goes. I hope it, you don't leave it in there. Maybe you do. I, some people, I, I didn't know. I didn't look for where to put that tire. There's the acrylic windows. How they look from the side. And another pair of uh, steps to go inside the travel trailer. Of course, it has a screen door. Nothing too special there large uh, handle to get inside you know, for old folks like me so we can don't do trip and stuff and that's your fresh water connection and uh, plugs in case you're connected to shore power or to a generator you can use those that's where you connect your tv on the outside and you have an antenna and you have power you're set you can make noise and irritate everybody in the campground two tires two sets on each side and there they are the cre 3000 more ride system very nice there's the other entrance. It has a gigantic awning that goes all the way across. And it, of course, has a, if I, know, I remember cor correctly, it has lights under it, LED lights. In the back of the trailer has, a, you can install you know, a, a camera so you can watch what you're up to. And a lot of, uh, I went to one place, Holiday RV, and they were charging double. You can get a better deal online on Amazon. There's that acrylic window, and there's the where you can connect your uh, little camera. And uh, has all the wiring already done, so that's a great thing to do. Great thing to have. That's the slide out. No windows in the slide out. I do like windows in the slide out. This unit does not have them, and of course, they use a lot of Furian products on this unit. Would have been nice if they used the latest uh, Furian stovetop and oven. I saw it on a, another product I really liked. There's a, one of two areas where you can uh, have dump fill. I'm not a big fan also of the decals. I'm, I'm complaining a lot. I apologize. Uh, these decals are pretty chintzy. And uh, there's the uh, dump valves, the other dump valves. Gray and black. That's where you uh, hide your stinky slinky. And it's the under workings of the uh, unit. Aluminum, beautiful aluminum. Less rust, less issues. And there's the uh, insulated uh, underbelly. That's where you can connect them. Uh, suitcase, uh, solar panels. And that's the view as I go back. No, I'm not drunk. I'm going backwards. And that's the camp light. 20. 3 RKS by Living Light. My name has been Jesus Manuel Managares. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Gracias, adios, bye bye.